The federal and state government have been called upon to intervene under the plurable conduct condition of Abuja Oweto Tupo Road, which has become death trap for motorists and commuters plying the road. In the last four days, the road has become impossible as commuters are stranded on the Abuja Oweto Tupo Road as vehicles, trailers carrying food items break down on the narrow road. Some vehicles stuck on the part portion of the road were supported by residents in the area while business owners are counting their losses. Some of the motorists called on government to immediately swing into action, fixing not just this road but others across the country, which may pose similar threat to ensure safety and facilitate economic growth. And other stories, the federal government has reiterated its commitment to prioritizing mental health in the education system towards ensuring Nigerian youth enjoy sound mental health and contributes to a quarter to the overall development of the country. The Minister of State for Education, Dr. Tanko Sununu, stated this in Abuja during a symposium organized by Africa Union Agenda 2063 of the Sedoria Assembly with a theme, Understanding Mental Health managing stress and mental health in the workplace. The minister, who was represented by the director of special duties, Bayer of Delay, identified anxiety, depression, substance abuse and societal thought as the mental health challenges facing the young Nigerians, stating that in addressing this, the government is focused on creating more awareness, expanding access to mental health services and reducing stigma associated with people living with mental health challenges. I want to remind every young person here today that your mental health matters. You are not alone in whatever you are facing and there is no shame in asking for help. As a government, we will continue, especially from the part of the of Education, we will continue to use the resources that we have to ensure that mental health issues matter a lot in our institutions. The senior special advisor to President on Special Needs and Equal Opportunity, Abba Mohammed, assured that President Bola Tinubu will continue to advocate for a workplace environment that are inclusive, supportive and conclusive to mental well-being of all employees, particularly those living with disabilities. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu administration recognized this and we are committed to prioritize the mental health of Nigeria including persons with disability. Our own government national mental health act serves as a framework to ensure that every Nigerian regardless of their ability or circumstance has access to mental health services they need. Other stakeholders stress the need for effective implementation of the National Mental Health Act to promote and protect the rights of persons with mental health conditions while calling for collaborative effort to promote stakeholders to achieving it. We have to put our hand on that so that our youth that are more vibrant that will come together to see that they enlight Nigerians on the danger of the mental health. As I told you, you see so many people that are dying, younger age, senior age, are dying now with what is called heart attack. We really want to see that, you know, we take this um, seriously. By the way, we have to be an example to other African countries. So what we want to do is also see how other states you know, can implement the already existing mental health act because if we have it at the national level and then the states are not, you know, implementing it, then it's as good as, you know, not doing anything. So we want to see that we take it to the 33, uh, 36 states, you know, FCT inclusive.